Hey everyone, I'm Curtis. And I'm Shank. You're listening to Good Buds Podcast? Let's smoke. Hey everybody, welcome to the Good Buds Podcast, the show where good buds smoke good buds and talk about them. Today we're sponsored by Absolutely Fictional Co., the company that is absolutely fictional. They don't really exist, and they'll provide that for you. Go to their link in the description, which isn't actually going to be there. So, Curtis, what are you burning today? Uh, today I'm burning on some citrus glue. Very nice mm. little stativa hi- dominant hybrid. How about Sounds you, bud? tasty. Today I am going to be smoking some monkey glue. It's another glue strain. It's a sativa, um, pretty well pure, and I'm very excited to share with everybody uh, how excited I am to smoke it. Very nice, very nice. All right. So, yeah, this uh, citrus glue has very, uh, this very lemony, very, mm, like, very hard to explain, but it's just this uh, lemony citrus, almost like a peppery note at the end, but Mm, with low earthy nodes at the base of it as well. Very high in terpene smell as well. Mm -hmm. The buds themselves are a very light green but they're also very light and very fluffy got some nice red reddish orangish hairs on there light crystallization all around but it is fully coated all around though it's beautiful. very nice looking beautiful butt all together beautiful man why don't you take a hit of that and uh, tell me what the smoke is like for show for show yeah yeah Very, very potent hint, but you get a very citrus-heavy flavor at the beginning. It nice. miles so like it more, out. More of a grapefruit or a lemony? Like what kind very, of like orangey? Like a lemony. Like a lemony nice. citrus. Nice. But nice. it milds nice. out into more of a piney mid-tone. Hmm. And it ends with this nice little sensation that's hard to explain the taste, but my throat is very warm. Nice, nice. So it's like a, nice. so it's like a like a like a, not not a hot not like one of those hot tokes, but like one of those like kind of like it wasn't nice, hot warm, going down, like, but it's it just heat. it's just like a nice warm sensation in the back of my throat, like a warm fuzzy feeling, like yeah. that nice warm fuzzy feeling. Nice. I would I highly like that. recommend like that, that for fall. Like that would be a really good nice. fall weed, actually. Awesome fall spray. Yeah, sweet man, that's awesome. So and I love those weeds with the piney mid tones, like the pine, like that's uh, that nice little like kind of almost like a like evergreen kind of like the the evergreen vibe that you can get like you know exactly. it feels like you're walking through a pine forest it's just really nice oh yeah always reminds yeah, me of so, nearby childhood home we had I, I know pine yeah forest like, and it was nice it was always nice going through there see I, I love that man i love that and that's the thing man like a strain like that can bring back a lot of good memories it can make, it can help you forget a lot of things but it can help you make a lot of new good memories <laughs> For uh, sure. but uh, right, yeah but, man so uh, yeah how about you try some of that uh monkey glue out for us and let me know hell how that yeah, goes man. hell yeah well oh hell yeah well first I, I, i'll definitely describe it to you because i mean you give that beautiful thing so man with this uh this monkey glue that i got it's it's also light green like nice kind of light green color um it, but the nugs are very small like it's we're talking like little rabbit poop type pellets um just small small nugs but they're fluffy they're very spongy um absolutely coated in crystal um nice. it's one of those weeds that's just kind of got that nice sheen to it when you hit it with a any kind of light at all, especially a, a lighter, best kind of light to hit it with. Um, and it has very little red hair. Um, it's like kind of not one of those strains that looks like it's a woolly mammoth or anything like that. It's just very... Oh, usually, usually with the smaller nugs, you really don't see a lot of the hairs, but that's because they're trimming away a lot of the stem and everything, so you're getting a lot of very good, yeah. very quality weed. Yeah. Even though it and, looks and, very and, yeah. small, but you're getting the best of that plant. Exactly, and it busts up nice and fluffy. You know, it's really, it's very, very nice, right? So it's a, but it has a more of a tropical scent, like a very kind of like almost like mango, uh, like mangoey kind of like a papaya, like that tropical fruit flavor scent, you know, like that. Um, but uh, underneath all of that, it does have that same kind of earthy, like the umami, you know, like the Japanese kind of like umami concept, where it's like right. a mushroomy kind of like earthy flavor um, underneath it, uh, with like a bit of a sharp note hiding in there like when you smell it it's got that sharp kind of uh 
like a a crisp, like almost menthol kind of like when you're chewing that minty gum. Right. That kind of like, like a it's spearmint. got that nice like. Well, not yeah, as yeah, like, strong as a spearmint, but you just get that nice. Yeah, like the clear your sinuses kind of like that nice little. Uh, I think it's a, what is it, a citronella or whatever, where it yeah. like kind of clean, cleans your sinuses and feels really good to breathe in. And it's got like that kind of like when you smell it, it's more of a feeling than a smell, but it like gives you that clearness, the crispness, which is just it's really nice. I like it. it's very sharp. Excellent. Very Excellent. sharp. Yeah. So I'll I'll uh, I'll burn some of that and I'll I'll let you know what the smoke's like. Let me know. Oh, I'm already mad for the day because I forgot to put water in my bong. But uh, oh man, oh it's all good though. It's all good because this this weed. Oh man, oh buddy. Whew. Ooh. So first and foremost, the flavor that hits you is that mango. That kind of like it's like I just bit into a fresh fruit. Like it's a very, very in your face. This is like you you just ate a fresh piece of fruit sweetness um mangoey very tropical um that citrus comes out way more like that kind of citronella kind of um mintiness almost comes out a lot more uh it's like a menthol feeling almost on your throat like when you smoke i don't know uh, nobody and nobody listening to this should smoke none of you should ever smoke it's a terrible habit don't pick it up but if you have smoked before and you smoke have smoked a menthol cigarette it's got that kind of like menthol cigarette feeling which is very nice. I used to smoke menthols a long time ago when I thought I was cool. Um, and uh, and Same. so it's got that nice menthol, yeah, that menthol feeling. But uh, the the inhale is light. You know, the flavor profile on the inhale is light. But when you're blowing it out, it's got that very, very strong, like big aftertaste, you know? Right. Like, so it's one of those weeds where you're when you're taking the hit, it's kind of not it's underwhelming you know you think you're going to take a big hit and you're kind of underwhelmed you're like oh wow that really wasn't a huge hit but then you blow it out and it's got that very big after volume you know like the it's one of those tokes that it surprises you with the amount of smoke that you blow out afterwards but man it's delicious i I would smoke this weed every day of the week um it's a very summery weed though uh this is like unlike yours which is more of a fall kind of like yours a fall, say, very. Like, yours nice. would, Mine be would be more I'd tropical, say, cooling. Oh yeah, man! If you are if you are on a hike and you're at the top of a mountain or something like that, and you smoke some of this, it would put you right in the right spot. Like, or if you're on a beach somewhere, if you're I on a beach, I was about to say that sounds like beach weed. Beach would be perfect. Beach weed. This would be an excellent beach weed. It would be like you bring it down to the beach with your boys. You know, you're hanging out with your buds on the beach. You're playing some guitar. You're sitting around a fire. You burn <laughs> some of this. It would just give you that. Here's perfect summer vibe. So what you're saying is this is what SpongeBob would smoke because it's some good ass seaweed. Oh yeah. Oh, you damn right, boy. This is probably you know what I would say if I was a SpongeBob, if I was SpongeBob, or if I was the same species of creature that SpongeBob is, I would like to smoke <laughs> this kind of weed. This is probably what the seaweed and bikini bottom tastes like, minus a little bit of salt and like you know nice. sea flavor and shit, right? But this well, is probably the closest thing. Yeah. So monkey glue, monkey glue. Good. A member of the glue family. Yeah. Really good. I enjoy the flavor. Very. Now, good. I'm gonna continue burning this bowl. Now both of these weeds have relatively similar effects, which is out, you know, kind of surprising. But both of them give a, a cor- this is according to online sources, by the way. We, yeah, we have yeah. There's online reviews, so it's gonna affect allow, everybody differently. We allow everybody to have their opinion. We are about to experience and have our opinion, even though we've had these weeds before. But we're yep. just basing this off of what other people have shared as their opinion. Yep. So we're yeah, gonna, we, you know, we, compare we are and contrast. We, yeah. we, we know cannabis affects everybody differently. We're completely unbiased. We're not gonna say this is this smoking this weed will definitely give you this same effect or anything else. Exactly. It affects everybody differently, and that's one of the beautiful things is if you experiment safely with different strains of marijuana, which is what we like to do. Um, then you can find out what works for you. Absolutely. You know, what you like to smoke and what works for you. But these are our reviews that we're giving from our personal opinion. We'll always tell you when it's our opinion. And if we are re- reading from review sources, we'll always make that noted. Um, if you guys want to know the review sources, let us know in the comments, and we may start putting them in because we use a couple different review sites for different things. So just if you want to know them, comment down below. Know. We'll put them in the descriptions if you really want to know. With that being right, said, go ahead, Curtis. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. 
the general consensus for uh, both of these strains is a relatively euphoric body high, feeling both happy and relaxed, a little bit uplifting, if you will, and some people have even been known to say they get even aroused while smoking this. Mm. Interesting. I'm glad a that very... you are currently in the States and I'm in Canada, because uh, you may not be able to keep your hands off of me. That would be... <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll, t- I'll let you guys know that in the next episode, whether I got aroused from this episode or not. You, Which is one more thing I figure Canada. we should mention right now. Both me and Shank are currently in locations where it is completely legal for us to smoke marijuana. 100%. I live in Canada, in the beautiful uh, province of Nova Scotia. Um, I am currently over over legal age. I'm not going to tell you how old I am because it'll make you all go really. He's that old, and um, yeah, like so, it's perfectly legal for me to smoke marijuana here in Canada federally. Um, it is, uh, you know, fucking totally 100% legal. If it's not legal where you are, we do not endorse you breaking the law, but we do endorse you going out and rallying politically to get the laws changed so it's legal. Absolutely, that is something we can endorse fully. That said, uh, Curtis is in a different location he will tell you about now. (laughs) I am currently in the United States. More specifically, I am in Michigan, where laws have been passed where anyone over the legal age of 21 may smoke marijuana. I am not going to reveal my age as well. Same reasons. But I am over the legal age. I am allowed to smoke marijuana. I am on my own property. So, yada, yada, yada. Blah, blah, blah. The, the, the whole legal spiel, uh, mostly that's just so that a federal agent are listening or anything like that, they can suck a fat dick, just well, just for for the record. I, no, I probably <laughs> still could be fucked federally, but I'm, I'm smoking a joint. No, no, you're doing, There's you're a following disease. legal There's standards. There's a disease going on right now. If yeah. they're really worried about me smoking a joint, that's sad. Yeah, really. We, 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 would, we would get political with it. You would, you would be anyway. reading about this episode anyway. on Reddit right now. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so, so yeah, that's that's fantastic. We are both legal, and it's awesome. Exactly. So, with all that being said, uh, I do have a full joint sitting right here of some citrus glue. Oh, and I have a full joint sitting here of some monkey glue. Then, so what we're going to do now is what we plan to do on every episode. Sit, burn a joint, and... Mm-hmm. Just talk, see what happens, see where it goes, yeah, and yeah. eventually so, we'll let you know how it feels. Yeah, and uh, like like they, like some like some stupid quote on some bathroom stall said somewhere. It's you know it's always four twenty somewhere, right? Exactly. So, boy, all right, you ready? Let's smoke. Yeah, let's smoke them, bugs. Smoke them up. Mm. Oh man, that's just my favorite thing in the world to do. Oh yeah, and like that, think, and sitting on a warm toilet seat. Uh, as long as I know I'm the one who warmed it. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you know, or or just that the ambient heat in the bathroom is what warmed it. That's not, okay. <laughs> not someone else exactly. having, yeah, just some some big trucker like leaves the stall. You walk in and the seat's still warm. It's just different story. <laughs> 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 yeah, different different take there different take there um but uh yeah man uh, this i just gotta say though this uh this monkey glue um well after having lit this joint this weed is an unkillable weed i smoke i smoked a joint of this last night and uh in preparation for this episode i'm just joking i don't prepare for most episodes this is the first fucking we're episode always pre- I didn't know we're always preparing we're for always these we're always preparing for every episode um but uh so i was smoking some last night man and i had it in my hand while i was uh, i was editing a youtube video both Oh, Curtis and I are both YouTube video, video makers, by the way. Just this is a good time to mention that. We'll plug it more at the end, but yeah, we'll 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 let you know. We'll 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 plug the shit out of that later. But um, basically, I was smoking a joint of this last night, and I was editing a video um, for uh, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, and um, I forgot to smoke it for like probably solid five minutes. I lit it, and I just had it held in my hand. And I didn't smoke it for like five minutes. I swear, at least five minutes. To be fair, time could have been even more, like skewed than that. But um, like I was sitting there editing for a good while, at least five minutes, not taking a puff. And I remembered I had the joint, and I grabbed my lighter to uh, to relight it, and I put the joint in my mouth. And I kind of always do like a little bit of a pre-puff just to kind of get any stale smoke out of it or whatever, um, just so that the first hit doesn't taste like you know a stale bong hoot. 
Um, and so I took a little puff, and I noticed the cherry was still burning. So I just took another slightly bigger puff, and it was still lit. After all that time? After all that time. Just sitting there, it was still fucking lit. The cherry was still burning. <laughs> And uh, just like just like just like the Jesus joint, the great Messiah of the smokes, it was relit three puffs later. It was crazy, man. That's incredible. Like, I fucking yeah, like seriously, it was incredible, man. And it's like this monkey glue is the uh, out of the handful of strains that I have right now. It is the only one that I've got that like you know if I forget about it, it'll keep burning. So if you get this marijuana, if you buy this, the brand that made the grew this one is called Good Supply, but there are multiple strains of monkey glue, and they're all roughly similar. If you buy monkey glue and you smoke half a joint, put it out. Just make sure it's put out, like in your ashtray. If, if you've got an ashtray or whatever, or just don't drop it on your table or drop it in your ashtray and just leave because That's there's so a bad. very good possibility it's still burning. And that cherry is still there, and that it could catch other things on fire. But that you know, the likelihood of that happening is slim, mainly because if you've got a joint of this lit, you're gonna want to smoke every little bit of it because it's fucking delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a problem. The only reason that you put it out halfway is because because you get way too baked from smoking it. If you but even when you get way too baked from smoking it, you still want to smoke more just because it tastes so good. Of course. <laughs> See, yeah, so how's I'm, your joint burning? Uh, my joint's burning all right. Slightly lopsided, mm. but it's good. Uh, I put yeah. my joint into a uh, raw pre-rolled cone. Nice. I can roll a normal cone. I can do it out yeah. of normal zigzags, juicy J's, but this is always consistent, easier, and I have so many of these, might as well just start burning them. You know, a lot of people say that pre-rolled cones are stupid, but I always go back to the quote, that if it's stupid and it works, it what? isn't stupid. If it's stupid, why do they sell? Yeah, well, it's no, stupid, if it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. They, they're great, man. And honestly, exactly. uh, to be fair, I know the best thing, my favorite thing about pre-rolled cones is um, I know an older dude. His name's George, right? Cool right. guy. Um, I've known him for a long time. I met him at music festivals a long time ago. I'm playing music and stuff like that. And uh, I met him, and he was he always used to play guitar, but he can't anymore, right? He's got bad... Bad, bad arthritis, like super bad, because for years he was like a machinist and shit in the military, and it fucked his hands up. So anyway, this dude, um, I met him at a festival, and he had like a shit ton of cones, cone joints. Like we're talking like yeah. he had like, he had this box, right? And he had pre-rolled like before the festival, like there, I didn't count them. I didn't even ask him how many were in there. It, it didn't really come up. All I know is that one after another... He would grab one out of there. As soon as one was gone, he'd grab another one and light it. Like, this guy was the most medicated man I've ever met in my entire life, right? <laughs> but I was thinking to myself, like, you know, at one point, I was like, dude, how'd this guy, like, get so many joints? Like, you know, like, I figured I, that they were pre-rolls, but I figured, you know, how the hell did he get so many of them? Like, you know, like, did someone help him, like, pack them or whatever? And um, come to find out, I asked him about it. I was like, hey, man, like, curious i know you've got bad arthritis and you can't you can't even play guitar anymore how'd you manage to roll that many joints like do you have like an assistant come in or do you buy them that like pre-rolled and he was like no i rolled it myself but um he had a rig like this con contraption thing i'm not sure what it is i'm not sponsored by any company so i'm not i could look up the brand oh, is it that shake but... box that can roll like 50 yeah or so yeah comb yeah once? well it was his yeah there's his videos was a model of that, that thing roll, yeah could yeah, roll there's... 25 of them. There's videos on YouTube. We can put a link in the description for one if we bother to look it up, but I doubt it. Right. Um, you can Google it. If, if you're listening to this podcast right now, you know, you're probably listening on some device. You can go on one of your other multiple devices or on that device and check out oh. check it out later after the episode. Yeah. Um, but, it's a, but yeah, anyway, it's a, this multi-joint roller, and his was the one that rolled 25 pre-rolled cones. And they fit the raw cones, like the raw pre-roll cones i think the roll the, the roller itself actually the pre-roller might have actually been raw branded like i can't remember specifically but he, he pulled it out and he showed me and he was like yeah so all i do is i just like he's like i buy the weed the weed already comes pre-busted because like he buys it pre-busted because he doesn't want to have to deal with it right um he said that he, he used to use a coffee grinder but then it got to the point where he couldn't even open his coffee grinder because his hands hurt when he tried yeah. to so might as well so just buy he, and shake yeah. 
or so yeah, he just buys whatever. it. Yeah, he buys it in uh, in crumble, like pre roll crumble, right? And then all he needs to do is like run it, like just basically like very gently roll it, and it busts, right? So yeah, so he just bought crumble, and uh, he he fucking told me he's just like yeah. You, so you take twenty five cones, you throw the twenty five cones in the holes, you take the you take the weed, and you put a measuring cup on onto a uh, like onto the, your scale, and uh, each joint holds half a gram. So basically, you put in like you know, uh, fuck, I don't know, what is it? Twelve point was twenty five, so twelve point five grams. So you put twelve and a half grams, yeah. I think. And yep. uh, yeah, so you put in twelve and a half grams um, into the cup, and then you just basically pour the cup into the top, and, and then use like what, a card or something thing, to nope, ship it around. No, not even man. No? His was cooler than that, man. His was fucking nuts. What you do with his is you pour it into the top, and it kind of has like a hopper. Like a spinning, like like an auger type drill, you know, like ice drills. Yeah. Like how they got those fucking like augers. Well, it had one of those, and you pour the weed into the top, and then you press a fucking button. You just go book and press a button, and the auger starts spinning. And it goes. Whizz, 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 yes. And the weed goes down, and it pours into each of the individual cones, and as it pours in. The bottom part shakes, so it just goes me and vibrates like a fucking yeah. like a dildo on top setting, and and like you know, and it vibrates, and the weed just falls in, and it gets like perfectly funneled into each like each of the cones, and uh, like once once it's done, you just let go of the button, then you just twist the top, which is like easy, like it, it was so easy to do, I could do it with like my pinkies. Like, it's, like, designed, so you can just go, like, it's, like, not a hard lock. And then you take it off and just set it to the side. And all you need to do is just grab, like, the joints are exposed. All At that point, the joints are exposed. All you need to do is just grab the top and, like, pinch it with your fingers and lift it out, and you've got a joint. Nice. You don't have to pack exactly. it. You don't have to tap it. You don't have to do anything else. And this dude, man, had hundreds of joints rolled, probably. And his life was so much easier and better because of that. And it just made me think, man, like, you know, weed helps so many people in so many ways. And right. this guy just, it was awesome. It, this little invention, some some stoner engineer, because I remember being a teenager. I'm sure you've done it. Yeah. How many apple pipes have you smoked out of in your life? Millions. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. No, no. Another, hundreds, tell me about a contraption. Hundreds. Tell me about a, yeah. Okay. Tell me, yeah, no, but tell me about a contraption that you and your friends have made. So, to smoke out of. What's the most ridiculous fucking thing that you've ever smoked out of? I have the top three, really. So, All right, hook me up. So, number three would be my first smoking apparatus. Now, yep. every year, there used to be this festival that came to our town, and this festival had a cart that had a Slurpee machine, like a bunch of Slurpee <laughs> machines built onto the side of it, or Quona yeah, Ice yeah. or whatever it is, Corona Ice. I know what um, you mean, yeah, I know, I'm, yeah. So, like and they had these... Thing, yeah. And they had these really weird, long, like, ex weird cups. So, are, I got are a, you talking like those stretched plastic ones? Like, yes. they're like kind of like, yeah, the stretched plastic yeah, okay. One. But, yeah, it wasn't those like, always have weird the, shapes. it wasn't the super long stretched out one, but it was like a smaller version, like a one or a two foot version of that. But yeah. it had a flat bottom, it had a bowl at the bottom, it had a long stem, it was perfect. So I bought one of those, drank the Slurpee, washed it out, brought it home, used a plastic pen, uh, a bowl piece that I had gotten from another bowl that I got for like a dollar or something. Yeah, like one of those cheap metal pipe bowls. Exactly. Fuck and then yeah. I, so I just melted <laughs> like that into the, the pen, put that in, engineers. and then I just hot glued all that shit together, and that thing held oh, together fuck. for four, uh, I'd say probably four or five months until i was able oh, to yeah. actually get a bong because mind you I jesus was like man you're probably oh man i can imagine the amount of times i've smoked devices like that that like and, and the thing is is building it with like a pen and hot glue you have to take it's, really cold tokes exactly. like you have to like remember not to light it directly oh, and well, then you invite that one fucking friend over well back at this who time. you tell him like you're like don't burn it really hot because you'll melt the pen and then no, they no, fucking no, no, take no. a hoop and it's like melts <laughs> No, no, no. Mind you, at this time, this was me smoking alone in my room with literally like a dollar's worth of weed because that's all. Oh, I had. so just like I one mean, not hits, like just little tiny exactly, one hits. I get just you. kind of experimenting with it. If I yeah, really wanted to smoke yeah, I weed, you. I was going out and hanging out with friends who had all this stuff and a lot yeah. of weed. 
This was yeah. just so I could build up a tolerance, so I wasn't sitting just there little... like, what the fuck's going on, guys? I dig it. I dig it. Yeah, just like a little home apparatus, just for mm. those little clandestine kind of... Yeah, I, I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. <laughs> That's fucking beautiful, man. I love it. I can picture no. it in my head, too, like, I'm picturing it in my head, so... All right, no. so... What, I, okay, next one, next one. So that's, like, number three, right? Yeah, that was or is it any number particular three. ranking, or are they all, th- all three? I'll say that one's for... number three. Number okay, th- okay. Uh, number two was more or less just, like, the multiple instances of uh, huge... Like, we understood that there was, you know, the soda can pipe. So we're like, well, yeah, why, yeah, yeah. why not make it bigger with a, you know, a little 18-ounce uh, bottle pipe? And then we're like, yeah. well, why not make it better with a one liter bottle and then a two liter bottle? Why not bottle? make it better with a two liter bottle? Yeah, and, and then the a milk pipes jug. Made out of pop bottles, yeah, and like, and oh my god, yes. All of this eventually the accumulated up to an eighteen liter water bottle, right? No, it led to uh, a fifty gallon oil drum that we couldn't even smoke oh. out of. <laughs> 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 it reminds me of that picture on the internet of the ultimate bong, where it's like someone takes their toilet and fucking oh, yeah. like puts the weed up in the up in the tank and feeds a tube through the toilet water up into the tank and takes a hit, exactly. like and like through the through the toilet bowl. And I was like, oh my god, that's just so bad. Like just why? Uh, but no, this oh my was man, like this is the worst. This was like a plastic. <laughs> it wasn't an oil drum, but it was like a fifty gallon drum, kind of like an oil drum. It was all plastic. Yeah. It already had a hole cut out in it. I know what you mean. It's like one of those, so, one of those, uh, like m- moving to like the like yeah, l- like I, a water water jug. Yeah, but water. like a fifty gallon water jug. Exactly. We've got them up here too. They're what you like, what you see on the side of racetracks that they fill with water so that if they get hit by a car, exactly. then they crush the water and shit. I, I get. Yeah, I know. I can I can picture. So, it. Was one of the blue ones like the yeah, typical the blue, blue ones. ones? Yeah, they're blue. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. In, insert image in the video version of this later. Anyway, like, it's a so buttons. we had Whoop. two of those, <laughs> and one of them we kept fine, but the other one we decided it already had a hole in it at the bottom, and it had a opening at the top. So we opened the top, we stuck a bowl piece at the bottom, put tape and held over it so it wasn't, you know, so it was airtight. And then my yeah. friend tried lighting it at one end, and I tried hitting it at the other end. From the other and there end, was yeah. so much air in there you couldn't even hit it. No, so we're like, you would have to fill that entire chamber with smoke exactly. first. You would like need you would need like a leaf blower exactly. to fill we were, that volume. Mind you, we were dumb and stupid kids, obviously. Well, no, we, of course, no, of I course. Know that's the now. thing. That's that's so, stoner engineering, though, but, bro. That's the best thing about stoner engineering is those little experiments. No, here's the best part about it, and here's why it was funny, because we're like, oh, this didn't work. So we took the bowl piece out, took the tape off, put the lid back on, and everything else like that. Uh, yeah. like a week or two later, my dad was cleaning out from behind the garage, opened up the oil thing and came up to me and asked, why the fuck does the oil drum smell like pot? <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Probably just like that smoke, the, the little bit of smoke that you did manage to pull in there for that volume or whatever. Oh, probably it all, just like, cl- like stuck it there. It sucked in a bit, stayed. but it all stayed at the bottom of the pipe. Well, that's so what I mean. It probably just stayed point, in and like probably just coated the inside of the barrel. So exactly. you never got any in your lungs and it just like the, the resin just stuck to the inside of the barrel. So the second he touched it, it probably just like poof. You're like one of those fucking like puff now, ball dandelions that as soon as exactly. you grab it, it's like. <laughs> now number three oh, was yeah. the most devious one, and that yeah. would be I turned a glue stick into a hidden pipe that transformed oh. back into a glue stick. Oh. Now the reason this was a devious little pipe is because this was the pipe that I would use to smoke weed before school, but smoke weed after school. <laughs> And sometimes which we'll which once again school. for 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 again. anybody listening to this we 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 don't we condone you smoking marijuana responsibly within your own within your own ability within don't legal rights do, and everything like that. yeah within do your legal do rights don't smoke weed in your schools or at your schools or don't be a rebel and like, I just was fucking bad. I did like, stupid and shit. not to mention not to mention not to mention you know like know your own limits if you can't concentrate when you smoke weed or you have a strain. That makes it so you can't concentrate. Don't smoke that before you do something you need to concentrate at. Exactly. Because, like, you know, there there are going to be some episodes of this show where, you know, we're completely focused. Like, today's episode, so far, actually, I feel in it. Um, once this, this, this would be I a was good just time about just to before act... you do your final, before you do your final, your final device. Well, that is the final this device. This is a good time. But I was just about to say, oh, Shane, yeah. how are you feeling? God, you know what? Honestly, really good. Um, I'm feeling focused. 
Um, I'm obviously quite coherent. Um, you know, I've got to like, you know, I'm, I'm loving the, 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 like, you know, very, the, the stories you're telling are great, man. Like, I'm Thank like, you. they're making me very happy. You know, like I feel very uplifted. Um, you know, um, it's, uh, I'm saying uh, a lot I've noted. Um, that's definitely something that I should work on for the future of the video or for the podcast here because people really don't want to hear ums and ahs every 30 seconds. Oh, it's trust great, me, great. It's weed, something though. you need to work on in, in normal in conversation general. as well. In general, that's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, well, I used to say like a lot, and I'm very happy I don't because it made me sound like a complete airhead. Not that there's anything wrong with having a personality that says like all the time, but it is a filler word, and when you say it frequently, people don't take you very seriously. Exactly. So it's something that if you want people to take you seriously, you need to kind of focus on what you want to say and make sure that you follow through. Because uh, my ums. Yeah, then that's okay, because uh, once again, um, this would be a good time to explain that as well. This podcast will go on tangents. Um, we're both smoking marijuana. We're both very, you know, we yeah. have we don't have ADD or anything like that, but we do like to just go off. split our focus on different things. We talk about lots of different stuff. We'll have tangents like this that have nothing to do with the story, but I promise you we will get back to what we were talking about. The best part um, is eventually. we are relatively meta, so we do understand that we're doing this, and most of the time yeah. we will catch ourselves just like, weren't we talking about this a while ago? Yeah, it's true. It's uh, the, we've, I, the, You'll notice it in our YouTube videos as well, because there will be frequently times where we'll set out to do a mission, and we will completely get sidetracked, and then at, by the end of the video we're like, hey, weren't we going to do something entirely different? And But we Any will eventually have a video of us doing the thing that we were intending to do because we eventually get back to what we were going to get back to. Any video of us in GTA 5? Exactly. Any video in GTA 5. Any single any single video. You exactly. pick one out. Um, but anyway, back to what we were talking about. Aside from the tangents, which are going to happen frequently, we have to fill an hour here. Well, we don't have to. We could honestly stop talking after 10 minutes and you know just kind of fill the air with let music, but that wouldn't be very fun. But... Back to what we were talking about. It, this weed is fantastic. I'm loving it, man. It's it's got a great uplifting, like perky, like it's a, the beach weed, man. It goes back to what I said before. A throwback to the description I gave at the beginning when I first first lit it. If I was at a beach right now, I would be having the best beach day of my life. I would be looking for seashells. I would be listening to the waves. I would be, you know, maybe like, you know, just poking at the fire with a stick for a solid 10 minutes, staring at it and just marveling over the wonder that is fire. And uh, that's 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 how I feel about this weed. It's it's given me that definite like poppy, happy, good feeling nice. weed. And, and not to mention good good company and good conversations absolutely helping with the attitude as well um, in a of different course. setting. Even of if course. I but but even if I was on my own right now, like if I was just sitting here and we weren't talking, and we weren't doing this whole podcast thing, I would probably be on my computer, like, in my music program, just in the zone. I feel like I would be just in that creative zone, you know? Like, boom, straight down the middle. And that's that's how I feel about it right now. That's how I'm feeling um, at the nice. moment. How about you? How are you feeling from your strain? I'm feeling really good, really good. Uh, pretty much same thing in terms of, uh, you know, I'm in a nice... I'm not... I wouldn't say like, oh my god, heavy, oh my god, eh, 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 you know, type of thing. Yeah, but yeah. I'm feeling good. Not as energetic. But exactly. I'm nice. I'm relaxed. Like, and the way my body is feeling right now, like, like I said, this would be perfect weed to sit on a cabin porch in the middle of autumn and just look out on the forest. You know, yeah, autumn leaves, like crisp, pine like trees, nice crisp air, crisp, like you know, a little breeze going this, through, a little bit of apple cider. Oh uh, yeah, hard cider, or hard cider. Ooh, and yeah, nice you angry, get that hard an cider. An angry orchard with this would be nice. Or you know what I like this time, of, like that time of year. You know what I really like when it's getting cold at night and like just the air, glow vine. Glow vine. Yeah, glow vine. Uh, um, and what what it is is it's a it's a fermented wine, right? So it's a type of wine that's like it's like thick it's uh it's been like extra fermented so it's like thicker than traditional wine like when you pour it it's got a very like hmm. almost jagger you know how jagger has that like syrupy yeah. kind of almost like that kind of consistency but it's a wine right and the trick is is it's actually not a cold wine like a lot of wines you chill them or you have them at room temperature but globine you boil it 
really? you put it on your you stove heat it up. and yeah, you heat it up. Um, so you you take it and you you heat it up and make it very like make it hot, boil it up, and then you put it into cups and you put a little bit of cinnamon on top, and um and you and you drink that man and it's like, it's just got such a like an like an almost hot chocolate kind of like a consistency like vibe to it and the wine isn't one of those tart wines like it's not a very like tart like bitter like kind of like ugh, i just took a sip of wine kind of wines because i'm not a wine aficionado i don't right. love wine um i wouldn't sit down no, and ever order a glass of wine. i like weed i'm a weed aficionado if i ever drink which is super rare i i really don't enjoy how alcohol makes me feel or like you know just how it makes me perceive the world but that's not knocking anybody who likes to drink if you like to drink that's okay drink in moderation never drink and drive drink responsibly ever. always drink responsibly and fucking you know if you're a parent don't ever drink around your kids just don't it's not necessary um and so basically um with uh if i ever do drink it's maybe beer but I'll also there's two other things in the world that I will drink, which is Globine, which is really really good, um, and uh, like it has a very like warm it warms you up it like gives you a genuine like when you drink it it's like the adult version you know when you were a kid and you get in from the sled hill and you'd have that cup of hot chalky and you'd yeah. have those fucking mini marshmallows oh, in yeah. there and you'd oh, sip yeah. that and that warm feeling that came out you know that like that like oh man like that's like I feel warm inside out, you know? Right. Like, it, it, it's like the adult version of that. It's like, you know, like, it's like, it's like, and, and I'm feeling like your weed, probably the type of weed you're smoking right now, has that same kind of effect, because you were saying that it has, like, that warming effect. Yeah. So the weed you're smoking is like the, like the marijuana equivalent of Globine. It gives you that warm from the inside out kind of feeling, that sitting on the porch on a crisp evening in the fall you smoke that and it would give you that nice warm inside out feeling and you wouldn't even need to drink so i might need to get my hands on some of that actually <laughs> slow vine sounds like bovine and that makes yes. me want a steak <laughs> oh, i like what you did there <laughs> shit man yeah and um, i'm noticing um this is not munchy weed so far mine is not my, I don't know not so yours. much either. I mean, I might. I'm a little bit hungry, but that's just because <laughs> of timing right now of the day. But so, yeah, of course. No, nah, I don't think it's the weed doing it to me. So, but yeah. No. So, so you're saying it's not. Uh, so you're saying it's not very energetic weed, but it's like it's good. Like so, how, how about focusing nice stuff? Like, what are you feeling? I think you know, it's a know, nice chill weed. weed. But in terms of focus, like I'm here. I'm I'm there. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm good. Yeah, you seem was, you seem as coherent as you normally do. <laughs> I'm drinking root beer. Oh, uh, hell yeah. I'm drinking a root nice beer. IBC root beer. You I know, in some countries in the world, like... they think root beer tastes gross. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with people? Root beer is like, it's magnificent. Awesome. I know, yeah. it's so good. It's like, it's one of those beverages that, like, it tastes, it, right. it's good. Yeah. It's not even at, like an acquired taste. I was like at the beer. supermarket <laughs> today, and I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, I haven't had bottled root beer in a while, so I think it's time I should have some. Now down down the states, do you guys have dad's root beer? Dad's root beer? Dad's root beer. Uh, it's like a brand. It's a brand, and it's and it has like a blue label, and it's called Dad's root beer. Now I don't know whether this is a regional thing. I'd have to again. I'd have to Google it, and I'm far too lazy to do that right now. Same. Um, but Dad's root beer. Um, it's a brand, right? And it's like, it's basically labeled after it's like, oh, this was like your father's root beer, you know, it's like, and it comes in a bottle that's like, it looks just like a beer bottle. Like it's like the same brown glass right. as a beer bottle, like same brown glass, same pop, like See? beer bottle top, like regular beer cap. And, but it's got like a, and it's got a label on it that almost looks like a beer label, but it's not, it just says dad's root beer. And it's like, man, it's, it's great. It's some of the best root beer I've ever had now in my life. Now, have you ever heard of something called Not Your Father's Root Beer? Yes, I have. I've heard of that brand. I, I, I don't know if I can get it immediately where I, like near where I am. I don't know if there's any stores that sell it, located, at least near here. But I have bought it before when I was up in the city near where I live now. Um, they had a shop. Um, it's called Freak Lunchbox. Hmm. Not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. 
Um, the awesome store. The store, man, it's one of those places, like, it's an adult fucking candy store. Literally. Not, and I don't mean that, like, a sex toy store where you go in and it's, like, a candy store if you're into that kind of shit, or, like, a music store for me where it's, like, walking into I a candy I know what shop. you mean. Like, it's an, a literal candy store, but they, they carry all kinds of freaking weird candy, man, from all over the world. So this Freak Flinch box, um, they had, like, you know, candies from India, candies from Germany, candies from... And they were all in their original foreign packaging and everything right and but and i in there i remember i was looking at the drink cooler and i saw not your dad's root beer and i was like oh shit i've had dad's root beer i've never had not your dad's root beer (laughs) you know like because like i remember thinking that when i saw it like that's why i remember the brand so concisely because i've had dad's root beer right and at that point i was like well i've had dad's root beer i've never had not your dad's root beer (laughs) Aside from every other root beer that I ever had at that point, that wasn't dad's root beer, because apparently that would be not your dad's root beer either, right? Well, but, this is not your father's root beer, remind you. Yeah, but not your, yeah, it's not your father, yeah, but it was like not your father, and I was like, oh shit, I was like, that's fucking, it looks really good. So I ended up, like, snagging some, and it was, like, no, I didn't even get some. I didn't even get some that day. I got, what did I get from that drink cooler? Holy fuck. Oh no, it was like this blood drink. It came in like a blood pack. It was like a juice pack, but in like a clear blood bag. That's what I bought instead, because I remember seeing that, and like I only I didn't have a lot of money at the time. I was kind of broke as fuck, because I was like surviving as a musician at the time. Kids don't let yeah. parents don't let your kids grow up to be musicians. Just don't, <laughs> unless they're like exceptionally talented child prodigies. You can let them do it as a hobby, but always remind them that it should only be a hobby. Just please. <laughs> like, <laughs> Save them from heartache. Thin the herd. <laughs> it's, yeah, no, it's it's. But yeah, man, I was surviving on a musician's uh, salary at that at the time. So uh, I got a blood bag juice. It was like a Dracula like blood bag typo blood or like fucking juice in a clear plastic bag. I don't know. If, I wonder if they still sell that. I would love to get my hands on that. I'm sure they do. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do, but yeah. So, um, so yeah, man. You had a root beer today. You saw a fucking root beer at the grocery store, and you figured, hell yes. Yes, that's pretty much. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty yeah, much it dude. to that story. Hell yes, that was a bit, man. That's you no, know, I like it, dude. I I like it. Um, like because every now and then, when you know, you just you just crave root beer. You know. Exactly. I wonder if there's any strain. I wonder if there's any strains of weed out there that tastes like root beer. I'm sure there is. People are crazy about that keep... stuff now. Yeah, we're we're gonna have to keep trying them until we find one. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. So, who uh, wants to sponsor us with weed that tastes like root beer? Let us know. Yeah. Oh, seriously. Yeah. If anybody out there, anybody out there, can recommend a strain of weed that tastes like root beer, comment it below. Um, send us an email at. It's, the information will be somewhere around somewhere you'll be able to see it there will be text below a description of some kind it'll be popping up on the video you'll get to it frantically you'll get to it you'll get it. but either way let us know if there is a strain of weed out there that tastes like root beer I, we will both do our best to get our hands on it um, and luckily the coolest thing what I love is uh, like Curtis can get his hands on some palm weed down where he is and i can get my hands on some bomb weed up here right like you get right. some good like you know you can get, some, get good some good good weed. down there right oh yeah yeah you can get some, we'll good, get some good, good good yeah you tell me all the time about the good good you've got and it's it's exciting stuff so we will be reviewing so many different strains in the future you yeah. guys are going to be like coming by and like you you might think oh maybe they're just going to smoke the same strains of weed all the time or blah 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 or like five episodes we'll we're going to try strain. our best to change up the strain every episode to the best of our abilities if we do absolutely have to, if we do have to switch it up then we will be trying something different with it to make it more lively but for the most part we will be trying to get a new strain for every episode <laughs> One hundred percent. There will, there, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, both of us have access to different, so many different strains. Um, right. But, uh, but we will be. And speaking of which, we will be doing some there. Speaking yeah. of which, go ahead and comment down below if you also have any other strains that you prefer that you would also want us to try out. Maybe some crazy sounding ones, some crazy cool ones. We'll see what we can get our hands on and see what we can uh, review for you guys. 
Absolutely. I would love that. Um, I would love, like, you know, if anybody out there has a favorite strain, like, we have favorite strains. This this one so far is a phenomenal strain. Monkey Glue, I would say, in my top maybe three or four. Like, top three, top four strains. I have some of my favorite strain. I decided not to smoke it for this first episode because I've smoked it so much that I know every intricate detail about it, and I wanted to try something that was a little more fresh and a little more new to me, um, just so it would be more of an exploratory experience for, you know, Curtis, myself, and whoever's listening. Um, but my favorite we'll strain... No, 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 We will get to it. We'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get to it. You don't need You don't need to know. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not I'm not going to spoil it yet. No spoilers. No, we're not... This is a non-spoiler podcast. If we can get to 100 subscribers, followers, whatever the case may be, then we'll do an episode with our favorites. Our favorite strains. It's a, you know what? Actually, we could do a lower number than that because, like, let's say like fifty. 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 If we can get to fifty, if we can get to fifty subscribers. You know what? Let's. How about this? Let's just not set goals because we don't have anybody. This is episode one, bro. That's true. This is episode Realism. one. We don't have any. We don't have a single. Like, we're literally after this episode, probably gonna have three or four subscribers max. We'll see what so, happens, man. Like, we'll so, so, like, but we'll see what happens. But, you know, we'll get this out there, and, you know, people are going to listen. I mean, it's, I like to listen, so I'm sure other people will listen too. I'm glad, like, you're out there listening right now, whoever the hell you are, and I am thankful for it. Thank you very much. Um, for and, yeah, like, and we're going to do this every week. We'll get together, we'll smoke different stuff, we'll shoot the shit, we'll chat. There will be, like, probably some subtle music playing in the background. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, like, we'll, we'll figure it out. But if Again. there's anything you, that you like, let us know. If there's anything you don't like, let us know. Anything you want if us to change, anything, anything you recommend, yeah. let us know. Yeah. Can always if you're changing. having a bad day, if you're having a bad day and you want us to just kind of comment and say, you know, like, chin up, you know, things will be all right, comment. Like, you know, do whatever you want to do, man. Just don't don't be mean because we don't like mean comments. Absolutely. I mean, you can say them because we'll def- we might not like what you say, but we'll defend to the death your right to say it. That's not to say racism. That's not to say racism. That's not to say there won't be repercussions if you say something horrible. If you are racist, we will we will shame you and delete your comments because no racism. We no will racism. never condone that nope. or hate speech. Just don't don't be hateful. No hate speech in general. <laughs> yeah, don't be hateful. Be nice. This is a this is a freaking weed podcast, guys. I mean, really, you know, you, I don't think anybody here is gonna. Get, I don't think anyone here is gonna get the inclination or the feeling or the need to be mean. Yeah. We're all we're all happy here. <laughs> and if we're not, just smoke another one. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think it's a good time to light one. I think so, sir. No. Hey, you can pop another bubble if you want. Yep, I'm gonna pop another boobly. So see, well, he is uh, packing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You see, my preference is uh, I will smoke joints every here and there, but. My main preference is usually I like to smoke in my bongs. Yeah, and, and bongs are fantastic, man. Yeah, bongs opinion. and pipes. Yeah, no, and that's cool. That's cool, and and I can see that. And that's the thing is, like, uh, it's it's funny actually. Uh, while we're while we're on the topic of opinions, man, um, it's funny because I I realized something. Like, I heard something fairly recently that put something into perspective for me big time that I think a lot of people haven't heard about opinions, and it's about perspective of opinions right because a lot of people when they don't like something like for example a video game right if they don't like the game they'll say this game is trash right i've said it i think i'm sure yeah. if people look through my youtube videos yeah, I've said and it. Yeah, scour- yeah. we've said it and and i don't think i'm going to say it anymore because what i heard recently was that when you're saying your opinion about something, right? Like, it's like when you're saying your opinion about any given topic, if you say it's trash, this game is trash, people who enjoy the game, like, who like the game, will perceive that as a direct attack. They'll perceive that as you basically assaulting or attacking the thing that they like. So they tend to reciprocate with more vitriol, more hatred, more, like, anger and stuff, right? And so when you're saying your opinion about things, you should always put it into a personal context. So, for example, if I don't like a game, 
Like, if there's a game, for example, Dark, like, Dark Souls and Bloodborne and stuff like that, I tried to get into them. I would right. never say that they're bad games, because they're not. Like, I mean, objectively, they're good games. They're well-made. You know, they're fun to play by millions. So, yeah. but I can say, personally, I don't like them. See? Like, I, I, I don't enjoy playing them. See, like, I, like, you know, they're not bad games. No, I just don't like them myself. They're not I, for me. This is a topic that we have also had conversations about before, and we've said things that have been, you know, weird, but it's down to it. Shank is right. For example, he's not a personal fan of the Dark Souls, the Bloodborne games. Meanwhile, nope. I've Platinum Bloodborne. I'm playing through <laughs> Dark Souls 100% right now, Dark Souls yeah. 3. I've played Dark Souls 1 before. I haven't gotten to Dark Souls 2 yet, but I love the Dark Souls, the Bloodborne, Sekiro. I love that series with all my Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. on the flip side, I'm completely okay with Shank having his opinion because there are aspects of the game that are difficult, too weird, (laughs) too, you know, hard to figure out. The game has a very difficult learning curve. It's, you know, there are easy factors. On this, also the flip side... Sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> well done. But also on the flip side, uh, I'm personally not a fan of the Fallout series. And I know mm-hmm. Shank is a huge fan of Fallout series in general. Absolutely. It, yeah, absolutely. Some, I don't, some pieces, you know, I some pieces and such. Just, just so I don't get flamed in the comments, right. I also don't like Fallout 76. Just don't. Don't yes. don't be like, oh, he likes Fallout seventy six too. No, just... he likes Fallout four and previous. I like I like the good Fallout games. We'll, exactly. we'll just leave it at that. You guys argue amongst yourselves about which ones are the good ones. But he like <laughs> in general, you would say you like Fallout, right? Yeah, I would like Fallout. Yes, exactly, absolutely. And I and, would and say that's the thing, in, is, is in you, general, yeah. I'm not that big of a fan of them. And I will admit, before I have said the game is trash, and that is a yep. stupid opinion of me. Yep. I I've said the same thing about. Like I've seen the. the I've said the exact same thing about Bloodborne in 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 pure hatred and rage when I had gotten killed for the 400th time by an enemy that should not have killed me. Um, like, but it should have. I'm not gonna like that game. It's hitbox porn. Like the hitboxes are perfect. It was my fault that I got killed. I won't blame the game. I did not get good, but times that I felt emotionally that I should not have gotten killed in my anger, I may have said that it's a trash game or that it's garbage or any of those things. But at the t- at the time, like. It's, I should have taken a moment to think and think that, man, this game is not for me. I'm not enjoying myself, right? And as a true gamer, as a real... If you consider yourself a gamer in any variety, you will be happy as long as people are finding joy playing whatever they're playing. Absolutely. Like, if you're playing Candy Crush on your phone and you love it, or you're playing little I.O. games on your computer, or you're playing on an Atari... Or, or you're, you're playing on the swimming. Oculus or the yeah, H- you're playing or the on the Vive. Oculus or the Vive or the you're or you're staring at a like unbacklit old Nintendo Game Boy screen. It doesn't matter if you're enjoying what you're playing. It doesn't matter. Like you know, like why? Like you don't need to hate on anybody else. It's like you don't need to poke at somebody else who's suffering in your opinion to make your opinion look better. If you're si- like I love PS4, and I might sometimes like you know make jokes about xbox but if you're playing xbox that's awesome enjoy it props. play it love it props and continue spent... to play it encourage your kids to play games be so or somebody you love spent money to give you something to, for yes. you to enjoy and that is yes. incredible awesome that's awesome that's and that's fantastic so like it's like don't it's like a lot of a lot of gamers like you know the they'll be kind of eh, toxic and stuff and like in my opinion like was that i i for a long time i'd be like it's trash it's a trash game and now I realize that what I should probably focus more on saying instead of it's a trash game, I should be like, man, I don't like this. Like this game, it's like it's like I it's like man, this game's not for me. Like it's I I'm not getting it. I don't like you know I've got other things that I'd rather be doing, like than that kind of thing. And it's like it's cool if you like it. I can see why people would like it, but personally, I don't enjoy it. And like it's okay if you do. Like, you know, like, about... And that's about a lot of things in life, man. It's like music. It's like, I don't enjoy country music. If you enjoy country music, cool. 
Like, I'm happy you're enjoying music. You're enjoying something, you know? You have festivals, Because when people are out you there, You have yeah. an entire TV channel dedicated to your I know, stuff. yeah. You guys yeah. are good. We are okay and, with yeah. you. I just don't want to yeah. hear it. <laughs> exactly. Personally. And, like, and, well, no, exactly. And that's cool. But the thing, But the thing that I realized is that we so often now in like all of society people are so focused on like something else being worse so that the thing they enjoy will be better like the other team has to be losing by a little bit for their points to look impressive right. you know rather and than so, appreciation that there's rather than you know like yeah scoreboard. just appreciate just appreciate the fact that everybody gets to fucking sit there and play that game because like when when people have nothing that brings them joy like, if someone likes country music and they're mocked for it by all of their friends and their family and everything else, eventually they might just stop listening to music. And if they do, and, and there are people out there. I've met people. They're scary. I've met people that don't listen to music. Like, they just don't. They, they, they're they like, it's like, what's your favorite kind of music? And they're like, I don't know, I don't listen to music. And you're like, what do you mean? They're like, I just don't. Like, it's like, if I listen to radio, I listen to talk radio and I don't. I don't listen to music at all. And you're like, man, like, and, and like, it's like, and it's one of those things where if people had more things in their life that brought them joy, that they wouldn't be mocked for, that they could just, you know, do what they wanted to do that would bring them joy. As long as it wasn't hurting anything else. That is my, that is my biggest caveat. They can't hurt people. And they can't hurt property outside of their own body in any way, emotional or physical. That's like the main cardinal rule. If they're doing it to themselves and it's not hurting anybody else in any physical or emotional way, then people should be able to do what they want to do without being mocked, man. Because I was mocked growing up for some of the shit I did. Like even the cool shit I did, man. The, the awesome stuff, like skateboarding and stuff. People would like who didn't skateboard would be like, "Oh, you're just a stupid." Blah, blah, blah. And they'd say, you know, a lot of things I won't repeat on this podcast because it's just inappropriate and unpleasant. But I was having fun, man. I had a great time, you know, until I hurt myself. That's the story for another day. But, like, you know, like, I think just people should let other people experience joy without being mocked, and I think there would be a lot less trolls on the internet. That's pretty much my roundabout <laughs> kind of way of getting to that. Right. Yeah. So how are we looking for time, man? I know it's uh, been, we haven't checked, really, but I figure uh, it's a good time to check. Uh, We're getting pretty close there actually it's about beautiful time. i think we're about there yeah beautiful oh man we're getting to time man that's crazy uh well i guess that's uh it looks like we're running out of time for today oh shit all right well we'll roll one for the road guys thanks for listening and uh we'll see you next week uh don't forget to like comment subscribe and yell about this podcast to passing strangers on the bus <laughs> later buds later